What's going on guys? Geosnow right here. So in today's video, I'm going to discuss about iOS malware, how you can protect your device from being infected, what types of malware exist on the uh, internet and how you can get um, infected by those. And also we're going to discuss some security tips that you must keep in mind if you're jailbroken. So uh, the reason I'm making this video so uh, close to the other in which I talked about a malware that is actually in the wild right now is because I made three days ago this post on Reddit jailbreak um, just to make people believe in the, in the actual um, uh, danger behind the jailbreaking and to let them know what they should do and how their, their device can get infected. It's just a lengthy post, it's going to be available in the description, you, you can read that, it's pretty related. But it got nearly 1000 upvotes, which makes me believe that a lot of people are concerned about their iOS devices and about malware that continue to spread on the internet lately. So let's get straight into it. At first, I'm going to recommend you an article that is posted on viracode.com. And uh, although it's made in 2012 and is a little bit outdated, it explains in depth what kind of malware you can encounter on the internet. Now, although it's not only iOS specific, this is pretty much good because it explains how and why various types of malware, being it boots, being it uh, adware, rootkits and so on work and um, how you can protect yourself from them. So uh, probably the most uh, common one is the ransomware, which is basically a, a malware that asks you for, you know, paying a certain amount of money in order to unlock your device once you get infected. And it's more common to the computers, but it's not something new to see it on the devices. But I also, uh, I will also point you out to this page on the iPhone wiki called Malware for iOS. Now, if you've been living in a, um, in a cage, uh, so to speak, and you fought for, um, for your lifetime, you thought that iOS cannot get malware and OS X cannot get malware and Apple products are usually uh, free of any kind of viruses, then I'm going to prove you wrong. Well, see, although it is it is true, OS 6 and iOS tends to have way less malware than uh, Android and Windows, it's not impossible to get malware on this. And here is a, a very long list of malware that were uh, detected on iOS devices, being it iOS 8, iOS 10, iOS 6, iOS 5 and so on, doesn't really matter. There were attempts to hack into people's devices and you have in here on uh, 2009, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2014 again, 2015 and even 2016 and uh, 2017 if you look at in here. So you should probably keep that in mind. I'm going to point it out to this page. It's going to be in the description where you can read more about this thing. Now, what is actually the malware? Well, malware means any kind of software that once installed on your device is going to modify the system to actually make it either to follow uh, commands from an attacker, of course remotely, or it will destroy parts of the system. And we all know that iOS and OS X are based on Unix, which means that um, the simplest form of a malware would be a tweak installable on uh, Cydia that of course claims to be something appealing to the user so that the user installs it, but then it runs the command rmrf as root. And this is why it's important, the first tip is to change your password, change your root password. By default, iOS comes with the password Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. And um, you know that, and the hackers know that, and definitely will, of course, target this, um, this vulnerability in the jailbroken devices. Because every jailbroken device has this root password by default. And not a lot of people are changing this, uh, this passwords because they feel like, you know, it's not required. It, there is a misconception, and uh, by reading your comments in here on the post that I made, I have seen that a lot of people do not understand what is the what is the deal with this password related thing. And some people believe that you need to have uh, the OpenSSH installed in order to be vulnerable. Well, you don't. Let me explain you why. The password by default is Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. And uh, if, you're, if you don't have OpenSSH installed, you probably have Dropbeer installed, which is another SSH client um, that is, of course, going to be uh, pretty much dangerous if you leave, uh, leave the password as Alpine. But even if you don't have any client that works with SSH, 
you still you are still vulnerable because if an application wants to gain root access and of course act as root and run its commands as root, it only needs to log in using the Alpine password and it doesn't really need SSH to do that. So you're leaving your entire iPhone, your entire device to the um, at the disposal of an application if you're leaving the password as uh, Alpine. So definitely change that. There are guides on the internet and there is also a guide in the Cydia on how to do that. It's pretty damn simple. The link is going to also be in the description for that. The second tip, uh, how to spot malware. Well, if you want to spot malware, usually you need to, uh, to look for a couple of things. For example, high CPU load. You can check that with Top. Top is an application available in Cydia that once you open it in a mobile terminal, it's going to show you each process running on the uh, device at that time and its CPU load. Also, it's going to show you its PID or uh, process ID. Do not forget that in order to correctly close Top, you're going to need to press Q on, um, on the keyboard because if you don't close uh, Top correctly, it's going to remain in the background and it's going to suck up your CPU. So, um, yeah, so you're going to pay attention for applications that are not uh, common on the device and are looking suspicious. For example, they drain a lot of battery or they drain a lot of CPU or memory. That is one of the things. If your battery starts draining pretty easily and of course it's, it's draining way faster than it used to be, probably it might hint malware because usually these malware applications are running in the background listening to commands from an attacker via a specific port or a specific um, uh, address and so on so they consume a lot of battery. Another uh, factor is if your device gets hot without you using it, physically using it, if it gets hot it means the CPU or of course the memory is highly used. And of course, if you're not using it at that moment, it's probably uh, the sign of a malware running in the background, which is again something bad. Uh, how you can get this malware, by the way? Well, you can install Cydia tweaks that are, of course, malicious. And for some reason, a lot of uh, reputable devs or developers have turned to the dark side lately and they started to make malware, which is not something good because the, uh, the uh, fillings are now mixed. They have good tweaks and bad tweaks, and I mean malware tweaks, so people do not really know how to protect themselves. I would also um, recommend you to avoid piracy. Avoid pirate repos that provide, you know, free paid themes or free paid tweaks and so on. Usually they do not keep those themes and those tweaks updated to the latest version. And um, by actually scrapping them, by nulling them and making them, of course, from paid to free, freebooting them, they can easily insert malware into that uh, tweak or theme package and so on. So you are very, very prone to get malware from those pirate repos. CDI is actually complaining when you, when you add such repo that is, of course, known for piracy. So you should probably pay attention to what CDI has to say. Uh, another thing that you can do is to sideload IPAs. IPAs, of course, you probably know that are the applications on iOS and deploying them can be easily done with CD Impactor nowadays and there are way more websites on the internet than, um, uh, than were in the past providing IPAs for various apps that you can find in the App Store. And a lot of people tend to get them in order to, you know, install hacks for different games or to install, I don't know, uh, unlimited coins or unlimited gems for various games and so on. Now, the same thing applies in here. Somebody can easily put malware on that patched, hacked, whatever uh, IPA that you're, you are deploying. And because you're jailbroken, you have to be uh, much more safe and you, ha you have to be much more careful because you are giving that IPA the full access to your device. Normally, in a non-jailbroken environment, you're going to easily um, skip the malware because the application doesn't have permissions to run on anything else than mobile. But on... Um, on a jailbroken device, the application can easily escalate its privileges to root and do whatever it wants. It can even make your device to attack various sources, as it was the case on the, um, on the past days, and it can also kill your device by removing important system files. So pay attention to system modifications. If your device works slow, if your battery drains way quicker than normal, keep in mind that battery will drain faster if you're jailbroken, but if it does that pretty often and 
too much and more than you are expecting it to do, then it might be a sign of malware. Also, if your network is working pretty hard, if your, um, if your internet connection is dropping or has bottlenecks, again, it can mean that something is using it in the background and if it's not you, it can easily be malware. Keep in mind that normally iOS malware cannot infect computers you know, of Windows or even OS X sometimes and so on and uh, vice versa. Usually, you know, Windows malware cannot infect iOS devices by plugging them in. But you should you should still keep that in mind. Avoid keeping your devices exposed. This is actually it, guys. I really hope it makes sense what I said in here. And if you want to learn more, check out the articles. I'm going to I'm going to link in the description. Till the next time, pay attention to what you install, stay safe and peace out.